on day one, I did 90s. The keys on the keyboard felt very foreign to me, so I was just trying to build muscle memory. I was actually surprised I was able to do 90s because I tried in the past and I wasn't able to. And I did 90s all day until I mastered it. Once I felt comfortable doing 90s, I added a cone to it. So after I did the 90, I'll place a cone for protection, edit through it, do a 90, and repeat. And doing this obviously got me used to my cone bond. Then the rest of the day I did these cone 90s so it could be second nature. I'ma turn on my hand cam for day 2. The reason I didn't have my hand cam for day 1 is because I didn't think I was gonna make it past day 1. On day 2 I did tunneling. I'm doing basic moves like 90s and tunneling to help me learn my keybinds so I can eventually play against other players. After you master tunneling, you'll definitely be a little more mechanical. When I was doing the 90s, I wasn't using a floor, so now with the tunneling, I'm able to practice my floor bind. This specific tunnel is pretty easy, there's no editing involved, you just have to place two floors, one at the bottom, one at the top, and then two walls, and then repeat. Afterwards, I did a tunnel going straight with a wall in front of me to edit, so I could get familiar with my editing bind. It's a simple two floors, one at the bottom, one at the top, three walls, edit through, and so on. This was my real first drill with editing because the 90s with the cone didn't really require any skill or any crosshair placement, but this drill requires crosshair placement and it just gets you better at editing faster than if you was just to do 90s with a cone all day. And now I have my hand cam on. On day 3, I did one-on-one -on -one box fights because I got tired of sitting in a creative island by myself. These first two games were some of my first games, so that's why I was moving like a bot. I was also moving like a bot because I had a bad shotgun bind and pickaxe bind. I also got my new mouse on day 3, a glorious Model O. So after changing my shotgun bind, my pickaxe bind, and getting my new mouse, that's the reason the first two clips without the hand cam, I was moving like a bot and the clips after those with the hand cam, I was moving pretty decently. The first two clips on day three without the hand cam, I was still on my old mouse, which was my mouse that came with my pre-built PC. It was pretty trash and I was on a random DPI. I did not know what DPI I was on. The mouse I got from the pre-built PC had no software so I could change my DPI. And when I clicked the DPI button, it did not change colors. I know some other mouses with a DPI button, yellow will be like 400 DPI, blue will be like 800 DPI for example. It did not have that, it stayed the same color. So I did not know what DPI I was on. So it was pretty horrible. As you see on the hand cam, I'm still on my pre-built PC keyboard. But on day seven in this video, I get my new keyboard. So stay tuned for that, I'm not gonna spoil it. As you see on your screen, that's me showing you the mouse I got. And as you see on the glorious Model O software, I'm currently on 800 DPI. Which is good to know because now I can adjust my sensitivity accordingly. And I just feel better knowing what DPI I'm on. On day 4, I did one on one box fights again. I knew I wasn't ready for realistics or build fights, so I wanted to get better at box fights. And when I have to box up in realistics or build fights, I want to be very comfortable with box fighting. On the very beginning of day 3, I had E as my shotgun bind. And being a beginner to keyboard and mouse, editing was already a little hard, so having to press an extra keybind to pull out my shotgun was just not optimal for me. I have a scroll wheel for my controller and I used to use it and I used to have my shotgun binded to scroll wheel up. So since I was struggling with my shotgun bind being on E, I decided to go with scroll wheel up because I have prior experience to using it. 
I didn't have scroll wall up for my shotgun in the first place because I was talking to someone about it and they said in an intense fight I might accidentally pull out my shotgun but I don't care anymore because it made me play better. It felt way more natural because I used it in the past. And if you're switching to keyboard and mouse, one tip I could give you is utilize your mouse, use your mouse buttons if you have any, use your scroll wheel up, and it'll take stress off your fingers on the keyboard because you're not overloading your fingers with binds. And I was using E for my shotgun bond because I was trying to copy Donnie, Clix's old duo. And I changed my pickaxe bind from 1 to C. I don't know if it's because I have small hands or something or if it's because I'm new to keyboard and mouse, but I do not like using 1 or 2. I don't feel comfortable clicking it. I feel like I can't even click it. When I had 1 as my pickaxe bind, I couldn't even pull up my pickaxe and fights. Now I'm able to pull up my pickaxe and fights. But it's a little uncomfortable because I don't like having too many binds on my thumb. So on day 5, I changed my pickaxe bind again to something that's more optimal for me. I put C as my pickaxe because of Batman Booga, but it's just not for me. And later in the video, I changed my AR slash SMG bind from the numbers to a letter. Because I'm telling you, I do not like the number binds. On day 5, I did realistic one on one box fight. I like this map because I'm able to work on my building, but you could only go a few stories up, so you work on your building and then you box fight. So I'm able to work on my building so eventually I could play real realistics. And I'm able to work on my box fighting because there's so many situations that will happen on this map that would never happen on the original box fight map. As you see from the gameplay, I switched my pickaxe bind to tab and I click tab with my ring finger. This is way more comfortable for me, and I'm able to pull out my pickaxe and fights way more than C. I don't mind putting keybinds on my pinky and my ring finger. So as you see from week one, week one was just me finding what binds work for me best. You know, have a bind, play on it for a few days, and if I don't like it, change it to something better. And this is something you want to do very early on, like week one like I'm doing, whether you're switching from controller to keyboard, or keyboard to controller, it doesn't really matter. You don't want to be a month in still changing around your binds, because then you're truly never going to build that muscle memory that you need to get better at the game. If you play keyboard and mouse and you have any tips for me to get better, leave them in the comment section. On day 6, I did realistic 101 box fights again. I'm getting more experience building, then hopefully I can play realistics and win a solo pub game. I like that this map has a height limit of a few layers because I cannot crank to the sky yet. I'm, I'm not ready for that. On day 6, I changed my AR slash SMG bind from the numbers to G. I can click letter binds way faster than number binds. That's the reason I did that. As you see from the gameplay on day 6 I started to side jump. It was a pretty whack one but it was better than nothing. And I even tried to start piecing people up. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about my binds. Are they weird? Are they optimal? Are they beginner friendly? Let me know.
On day 7, I was working on my double edits. After playing Ballistic 101 box fights for 2 days straight, I know what I need to work on building wise, so I'm gonna lab up and get better at these moves so I could eventually play Ballistics and win a solo pub game. Then after I master double edits, hopefully I can master triple edits. But as you see from the hand cam, I got my new keyboard on day 7, it's a Razer Huntsman Mini, it's a 60% keyboard with clicky optimal switches, which I'm guessing are blue switches. This is me showing you the keyboard box. And overall, I really like the keyboard. It's very small, so I have more mouse space. And it's so small and compact that I'm able to hit more binds. Like, I don't got to stretch out my fingers just to hit one bind. The keys are way more responsive than the other keyboard I had, the one that came from my pre-built PC. And it's very loud, so ASMR videos coming soon. So my keyboard and mouse setup is pretty valid to say the least. I have a glorious Model O, the lightest mouse ever created, and I have a Razer Huntsman Mini. Now I just need a better mouse pad and an arm sleeve. That's it for me. Like up the video, comment if you have any questions, subscribe to the post notifications so you never miss a future upload. I'll holla at ya. Peace.